A local woman says a priest sexually assaulted her two and a half years ago. Now she's filed a lawsuit claiming he attacked and raped her. John Shumway spoke with her about the alleged assault and has her story. At St. Teresa of Avila Parish's annual summer festival in August of 2016, Father Cyprian Duru from Nigeria was being introduced to parishioners like Kathy Cole. And just welcomed him, you know, welcome to our parish, welcome to America. Father Duru is a doctoral student at Duquesne, and Kathy ended up in a group of volunteers giving him rides to school from Ross Township. A career decorated teacher, Cole would go into teacher mode on the ride. For him to um, ask about culture and, you know, what it was like and, you know, for me to talk to him about our parish and things we do in the parish. And living near the church, Father Cyprian would jog in the neighborhood and sometimes he'd stop by to chat. So when she says that he called on December the 11th to say he wanted to bring a Christmas card by, she said okay, despite the fact that he was interrupting the Steelers game against the Bills. As they watched the game together, she got up to go get them something to drink. So I went downstairs and he just followed me downstairs. And at that point, that's when the attack started. The lawsuit claims he grabbed her breast and forced her onto the couch. I could, I know, I, I, I couldn't push him off of me. I know that. He, he's just too strong. The only thing that was in my head at that point was, this is my priest. This is my priest. I could only keep saying no. No, please, no. And that didn't work. She says during the attack, she was shocked when. He asked me how long my husband had been dead. Is this before or after the assault? This is during the assault. Once it was over, Kathy tells me he left and she was sitting on her living room floor crying when she got a text message from a friend. And I just picked it up and I texted them. I've just been raped by my parish priest. The friends were coming over immediately and she went to take a shower. I just cried and cried and cried and stood in the shower till it was cold. The lawsuit says Cole went the next day to Passivant Hospital where a rape exam was done and then to Ross Township Police to file a report. I kept saying to everybody, you know, um, I can't hurt the church. However, she did report it to the parish priest, and a trauma team from the diocese came and told her that Father Duru was being told he would no longer be a priest. But Duru continues to be a student at Duquesne University. He's never been criminally charged because the DA tells KDKA, based on the evidence as it exists, it could not pursue prosecution. Now, according to the lawsuit, Kathy Cole believes she's not alone, that someone else was victimized by Duru. She also wants to create a support network for Catholic women victimized as she claims that she was. We'll have more on that and the reaction from the diocese coming up new at 6.